In this lecture, we are going to see the example of modified condition decision coverage. So this is an example. You are testing a photo enforcement system for traffic control in an intersection. It has been determined that a photo should be taken if the signal light is red or the car is speeding. So this is an additional condition which is added here. So even if the light is red or the car is speeding, in both the cases you have to take the photo provided that if the front wheel of the car are over the line marking and beginning of the intersection. Okay. So the last condition is same. So but you see that there are three different conditions. The light is red, car is speeding and the front wheel of the car is crossing the intersection. Now we can have eight different conditions or test cases for these three conditions. So these are the different combinations. And if we read this statement out of that, we can write down this particular piece of code, which is also provided in the question. And the question they are asking you is given the information, which set of value provides the minimum number of minimum number of tests to achieve 100% modified condition decision coverage. So remember this word modified and the option given are this. So now we have to analyze this code and then we have to also see this condition in order to know that which of these combination can provide us 100% modified condition decision coverage. So now let's try to analyze the code and the condition. And this is a table which we have drawn in the last video. Okay. So if you see these conditions, they are same. Here it is red, it is A here. Or, or. Speed, it's B. Wheel, it's C. So we can represent this as the old one itself. And why I have taken this as an old one and why I am not drawing the table again because it is not necessary. If you know these combinations, then you know this particular part. So I have taken this and I am representing it in the form of a short form. So true means T, false means false, F, true means T. Okay, so these are the combinations which I have considered here. Now what I will do is I will compare these combinations with these combinations and then I will get my answer. So all the conditions which are satisfying this will be our answer. So what I am saying is let's try to understand with the first combination. So the first one is true, false and true. So if I see this one, this is true, true and true. This is also true, true and false. If we see this one, this is true, false and true. So this one, the first combination here and the third condition here are matching. So this will be one of our options, so which we have to pick up. So you can see here I have picked up three. So 3 has to be in the answer. Similarly, now let's see this option. So here it is false, true, false. So first one is false, second one is true and last one is true. So last two are true, first one is false. So if you see first four combination, none of them are true in the first place. Now I, if I see the fifth combination, first one is false, then true, then true which is satisfying the second combination. The second is matching with fifth one. So I will take fifth also as an option. Now uh, if I see the third combination that is false, false, true. So that is nothing but the seventh combination. False, false and true. So I will also note down seven. Now let's see the last one that is true, false, false. So true means first four, then false, Okay, and then last one is also false. So that means fourth combination. True, false, false. True, false, false. So I have to take fourth as an option. So now I have to see in the option which of the combination contains 3, 5, 7 and 4. So as I told 3, 5, 7 and 4 and these are our options. So in this option, Option A is our correct answer. 3, 4, 5 and 7. So 3, 4, 5 and 7. All the combinations are here. So this is how you can reduce your time and find the answer very effectively and in a very less time. That is it from this particular example and I will see you with the next topic. Until then, happy testing.